Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad project. Today, friends, I want to make a Christmas tree in Tinkercad circuits. So let's get cracking. All right, so if you've never done circuits before, we go to Tinkercad and we choose the circuits option. When it pops up, I want you to hit Create New Circuit. Let's click up here at the name, and I want to name this tree, and I'm going to put my initials after it. Now, to build this, we are going to use the wires to actually be our artwork. So I want you to put two breadboards on top of each other, really close to each other. It's already set to green for the wires, which is kind of cool. And I want you to go to number 10, and then I want you to go to above 15 and click, and then go to number 20. So you've just learned that if you click empty space, the wire bends really nice. And then we've also split it evenly between the 10 and 20. Now I want to go to the 21, and I'm going to tell you to go in between 15 and 16. If you go right to the boxes, they connect. If you go in between, it makes that little arch and lets us come out here to above 26. Notice we're not clicking any of the holes, so that way we can come back to the middle and bend it again. This time we're going to come out above the minus sign, come back to the middle, and then we're going to come out and go just between the minus and the plus, or right at the plus, come back to the other side, come back to the middle, don't forget to go out, we went almost to 30, so we'll go almost to 1, then come back to the middle, and come out, and this time we went to about 25, so we'll go to a 5, and then we're going in between these again, and then finally finishing back at 9. Friends, we have just designed what looks like a Christmas tree. We are not going to connect anything to these wires, but we built them. Let's switch to brown and give our tree a little stand. I'm going to go from 13 to just below 14 to 19, where I'm just below it, and then back up to 19. Now I want to change these back to green. So boom, now my tree looks pretty darn nifty. If you decide that you want to move these, remember you can just click and then drag them to the new spots. I think that is centered just a little better. So now friends, we are gonna add lights to our tree. Let's bring out the battery box. I like to change it to two batteries. I'm gonna put it down here so I can connect it to the plus and the minus. First I'll do the negative, and then I'm gonna make it black so that they match. Then I'm gonna do the positive. I'm gonna make it red so we can always show that correctly. All right, so let's add our first light bulb. Bring it out, and I'm gonna put it in 19 and 20, but I want it one above so I can connect the wires below it. I also want to add a switch, and I'm gonna put it down here below. We're gonna add a resistor, because we want to not have our LED blow up. We are gonna rotate it, make sure it's flat, and then I'm gonna put this on terminal one. I'm gonna put my electricity coming in to the common. Notice I'm using a purple wire. That's because I want this to look a little pretty. Now making sure I find the end of my resistor. Notice it's on row 23. I'm gonna click on row 23 and connect it to my LED. Now I connected it to the anode because that's where the electricity comes in. The cathode is always gonna go to the common. Remember we put our common right here. So I'm gonna just bring it down. Now you'll notice that I used purple wires today. This is so that it looks a little prettier on our Christmas tree. At this point, when we hit start, we can then hit the switch on and off, and our Christmas tree has lights. Now, friends, watch this bit of trickeration. If we bring out another LED, and we can actually connect these together. Remember, the electricity has to go in a circle, so we're going to go from the cathode to the anode of the second one, and then all we have to do is connect it down to the negative, and friends... When we hit play, we have got two lights working. Now you'll notice they're pretty dim. We can change that by changing our resistance. I wanna make this resistor ohms, and I'm gonna tell it 100. And now they start to light up a little more. If I take my batteries and I switch it to four, boom, we have now got a really pretty Christmas tree. I'm gonna bring this a little further away and then I'm gonna click on these and I'm gonna switch the color. I want one to be orange and I want one to be green. Let's hit play again. 
and friends, that's pretty sweet. All right, friends, so this is where the fun part of this challenge comes in. First, I want you to see how many LEDs you can light up with one set of these four batteries. String them across like this and just keep going from the cathode to the anode until you finally connect to the negative rails. The second challenge is to try a nine volt battery up here. Once again, I'm gonna rotate it so that it's aimed right. And then you would connect your positive to the positive and your negative to the negative. Do make sure you get these wires colored right so that it makes sense later. So you've got your black and your red. And then let's bring out a second switch. This time I'm gonna rotate this all the way around so I can see the wires closer to where they connect. And remember positive goes to the common and then connect terminal one to a resistor. Here's another cool trick. If you do control C and control V, you can make a copy of the resistor so it still has your same settings. And then you can have two sets of lights controlled by two different switches. You can have all your fun colors. And if you're in my classroom, I want you to show me when you've made your awesome tree with as many light bulbs as you control. If you're having a ton of fun with this, you do have another negative and positive rail down here. You could try a third battery. You could also make them down here as well. Remember today we're using the fun colors instead of the black and red for when we're moving between the LEDs. But I think you should be able to keep track of this. Lastly, friends, if you enjoyed the video or found it useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.